I don't care, you know, this is art or entertainment. I want to break that kind of a barrier. Mm. In the near future, we will get a new technology, maybe XR technology, mm. I hope. That will help to connect people. Well, everyone, Clifford here from Ignite Sendai Startups, and I have sitting with me a guest in studio. I want to go ahead and ask you, what is your name, and what is it you do, if you could tell us? My name is Tetsuya Mizuguchi. Uh, I'm a founder of Enhance Experience, Inc. Okay. Yep. And what does Enhance Experience, Inc., what do you guys? Uh, we, uh, our mission is, you know, enhance uh, experiences okay. by using Technology. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So we say enhancing experience with technology. We're thinking like virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed kind of reality. Okay. Um, yeah, we call XR. Okay. Extended to reality. I, I really liked listening to just uh, your presentation on virtual reality, and there were things that stuck in my mind when I listened to you today. Uh, I saw like the X1 chair. Yeah. And, uh, can you explain to us a little bit about what that chair is designed to do? The Shinoshiji X1, this is a chair shape. Yeah. <laughs> so we can say this is like um, kind of equipment yeah. or the machine. Yes. <laughs> where it's two speakers and the 44 haptic actuators okay. and the LEDs. Okay. So you sit down on the chair. You listen to music, but not only here, you feel the music mm. with your whole body, body okay. and each haptics, you know, can produce each sound haptics. So if you know it's a human voices, okay. you feel, oh, this is like a human voice. Okay. And that is moving, you know, huh. all textures and the feeling haptic is moving on your body. Okay. So this is totally new experience. Mm. You guys said you are beginning to think about how can this kind of technology begin to apply to health. What kinds of benefits do you think there are from using this type of technology in medical fields? So, you know, thinking about reality, you know, the many people, um, you know, having the medicine mm. too much yeah. for mental, you know, care, yeah. or you know, many people, um, you know, has some physical mm. problem. Mm. If you know, we could um, cure or treatment, you know, treat that kind of a conditions, mental, mm. physical thing. This is like a magic, but um, if we could. That is an amazing thing. In talking earlier, you mentioned that you have actually been here before. Mm -hmm. um, where did you, where did you go? I went to uh, Yamamoto Cho. Okay. Yeah, right after earthquake. And uh, I took um, my students. Okay. I'm teaching at the university. And um, so we did the uh, some Brontia, okay. and also um, we had a project oh. um, to make music video okay. for to cure um, the people. Mm. So we took six months, oh. and um, that was uh, the challenge. Um, I had almost twenty students, and the twenty students made one music video. Um, and they, you know, each part and each phrase, um, you know, everybody share. And um, we <laughs> edit the whole thing. And that was a great thing, you know. Great. That was a great thing, you know. Yeah, to cure the people, yeah. you know, the students think, uh, so, to, you know, how. That was a really, you know, tough mm. process. It's not easy, yeah. right? But that was a really good approach. Mm. And... Uh, that was, it must be a, a really good experience for everybody. Mm. I like your thinking in that you are wanting to create an immersive experience. Mm -hmm. I don't feel as if you're just wanting to do it for 
entertainment or for fun. Mm -hmm. What motivates you to make these kinds of immersive experiences for people? Um, I don't care, you know, this is art or entertainment. Mm -hmm. So I want to break that kind of a barrier, mm -hmm. you know, as experience. This is a very powerful thing mm -hmm. for human being. And that's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. So if, you know, this is a game, okay, we can, we make a game. Yeah. And uh, if we feel, okay, you know, we should make a new type of media art, mm. we do. I see a lot of our titles, our promotional materials, Tetsuya Mizuguchi, video game giant, well-respected. Do you think of yourself as simply a video game designer or more than that? Um, yeah, it depends on the situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I feel, oh, you know, it's a little bit uncomfortable the way it's, uh, you know, they're using that title. Yeah. But I learn a lot from the game industry yeah. and the game creation. But thinking about the future, mm. the game element, or, you know, some people mention about the gamification. Yes. So, the all activities, you know, the watching the future, you know, how can we apply to the future experience? So this is a kind of motivation design. What do you see in terms of potential growth here or innovation as far as the future? Um, I think, um, you know, the ne near future, um, we will get a new technology maybe Excel technology, I hope, um, that will help to connect people, you know, easily mm. and with high resolution. Mm. So, for example, you know, we are talking, I mean, Tokyo and you're in the Sendai, yeah. but so we feel that kind of an atmosphere, you know, very closing and feel some, uh, you know, energy, yeah. atmosphere. So we will start they're using that kind of a technology mm. in our life. So then, you know, if you're in a Sendai, I'm in a Hawaii, <laughs> anywhere, um, that's okay. You It'll know, be more than like a conference call, it would be something new mm. beyond that. But if we want to be there, yeah. we can be there. Yeah. But, you know, we have many, many stupid things, you know, mm. in our life, you know, this is a very important thing, you know, mm. to connect the, in the real yeah. space and the talk. But sometimes, you know, we don't need to go there, yeah. but people, oh, please meet, or let's meet. But, you know, that kind of a under average thing, mm. we can swap and change. I hear a lot about you know, we have, we have, everybody has a smartphone. We have smartphone technology, and a lot of people are engaged with their smartphones and kind of ignoring the people that are around them. So we see some of the negative effects of technology and not in breaking down what would normal be normal day-to-day -day connections with people. So do you see the application of this technology in the future helping to be used in a good way to help reconnect people in ways that this is not doing. Mm -hmm. You know, we uh, we will have you know the both good thing and the bad yeah. thing. You know, the smartphone. It's a lot of good, good things. Yeah, there's a lot of good things. But the many, no, you know, not good thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the people watching all the time like right. this, in train, <laughs> everywhere, and everybody doing like this is very really scary, yeah. and. Uh, even though you know walking, yeah. the people watching like this, and it's very dangerous. Yeah. So it's like human activity. Right. Yeah. Right. So this is unnatural. Thing. Right. Right. So the maybe you know the glasses, we can watch your your eyes yeah. like that, and uh, and we can walk without like this. Yeah. 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 And if you want and the need, we can use, but. If we don't, you you know want you know take off. Yeah, that's good. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm dreaming like you know that kind of um, future. Cool, very cool. Also, you know, um, 
thinking about the place um, we will be able to access to uh, this is like a time machine you know maybe you know long years ago yeah. you can talk with somebody mm. maybe you know, your father okay and same age in the future mm. not interactive but yeah. You can feel your father, you know, over the same age, same time, what kind of things happen in the life. Okay. And, um, you know, you can access to your grandfather, grand grandfather in the future. Huh. You know, you, yeah. if you live in, in the, you know, the 100 years, right, in the right, 200 right. years later future, you can access to all the kind of ancestors. Imagine, you know, this is, I think this is a really good thing. Hmm. Or human, yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, we must feel, or oh, I'm not alone. Yeah. So we, are, I'm here, mm. continuing from that kind of people, these people, you know, that life, that life, that life. Cool. So you know, I can feel, oh, this is like connection. You came and you spoke to today with foreign entrepreneurs and people who want to do innovation here. What kind of advice would you give to entrepreneurs who are wanting to pioneer something new here in Japan? So my advice is, I recommend um, not single tasking. Um, what do you mean by that? Yeah, multitasking, but, but um, the slow motion, multitasking. So you're taking time, long years, if you want, but thinking many things. Huh. So not only a few things, you know, the many things. And I think at the time of preparation, I think it's very important for everything. So this is like a, you know, fermentation. Yeah, creative ferment. Good. Mm. If, Anybody wanted to learn more about you, your uh, company, what you guys do, how could they follow you? Do you have? Yeah, we have a website, uh, www.enhance-experience.com. And uh, do you guys have any like Facebook or Twitter or any other social media? Yeah, we have both. Okay, and then it, would that all be enhance-experience? Yep. Okay, very good. Well, thank you once again. Thank you. And. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.